My name's Ken Reif. I work with RVs for Less in Knoxville, Tennessee. I wanted to spend a few minutes with you today talking about a used unit that we have in stock. It's a 2017 Keystone Montana 3820 FKL. A front kitchen, five slides, 41 foot long. We actually are offering this unit at $47,900 this week. So uh, I want to spend a few minutes with you going over it. When we come in the front door here, we actually have two doors on this unit. We come in the, the uh, front door closest to the front cap. We're coming into the living room. And here in the living room, we have two uh, sofas on opposing slide outs. So it really opens the uh, living room up. And then we have a theater seat looking directly at a 49 inch TV inset into a fireplace uh, mo. So we have a uh, electric fireplace on the bottom that has the logs on it. And then we have a sound bar on top and then an open shelf above that. And again, that is a 49 inch a smart TV. And each sofa actually makes a bed. So you can fold each sofa out for a bed. And these are, this would be a full size bed on each one of those. And then again, here uh, directly in front of the TV, you have a theater seat. They are reclining. So the uh, cup holders in the middle, and then uh, the, the base reclines on that. And we have a lot of natural light in this unit. We have six windows uh, here in the slide outs and then one window beside of the theater seat. So seven windows total. In the living room, we have the shades down now because of glare and it, it kind of messes with the camera just a little bit, but a lot of natural light comes into this living area. And then of course you have a ceiling fan in the living room uh, to move some air around. We do have two ACs, a 15,000 main AC and a 13.5 bedroom AC. Now, from the living room, we go upstairs. We're into the kitchen area. So, it is a front kitchen, and I'm, at, I'm 6'4", uh, might as well tell the rest of it, 260 pounds. So, I displace a little bit of mass when I move around. So, I have a lot of room up here. This is not, not a very tight kitchen, so we have a lot of movability here. And in the kitchen, we actually have four windows, so we get a lot of natural light up here also. And I left this shade partially open to show you that that front cap is actually a window. So you get a lot of light there, you can view out, and it is a heavy tent window, so you cannot see in, but it is a window so you can see out, and then you have a window on either side of the front cap around the uh, booth, and then a window over the buffet. Now the table is actually a booth style table, so it encompasses the whole front cap. And in order to get the people that's in and out on the left side of the table, that table actually turns. So it has a release mechanism and it will clock 180 degrees. So you can turn that, give you more room in and out. And if you want to set it at that position, it's fine. Or if you want to turn it uh, east-west, that's, that's fine also. So it just, uh, and it locks into place when it turns. Now this particular unit does have a uh, RV refrigerator, so it is a gas electric refrigerator, four door, Norcold, 12.4 cubic foot. We do have a nice size refrigerator box and then a nice size freezer box. And to the left of the refrigerator, we have a microwave and then we have a Furion cooktop and a Furion oven. And this, uh, this microwave, this is a convection microwave, so you do have the convection ability in there also, so you can bake on that. And then you will see to the left of the cooktop, we actually have a uh, power receptacle that comes up, and you have two 110 outlets and two USB chargers on that. And under the cabinet, to the left of the microwave, there, there are uh, wine glass holders. So you can actually put some, uh, hang some wine glasses under there. And then you got uh, nice cabinetry, nice storage there. And then directly opposite of that, you have your buffet top. And on your buffet top, you have the countertop here with a 110 outlet to the right. So you can set a warmer, a, a toaster oven, a crock pot, whatever you can set there. And then you have storage on both sides of that. And then a lot of uh, pantry storage underneath that unit. So it does give you uh, a lot of storage and the same is on the left over there or on the right. right. 
So going back to the right from the buffet, we actually have our uh, double-sided uh, stainless steel sink. Uh, then we have the uh, wand that pulls out and then it has a spray string nozzle inside the wand. And then you have uh, actually five drawers to, to the right of that and then some storage under the sink itself. And then you actually see the sink covers on the bottom. So this is a solid surface top, so you have the solid surface sink covers that go with that. And it has a little shelf down there to store them in, so that's where you would travel with those. You would not travel with those on, you would travel with those uh, stored underneath the sink. And then as we uh, go back down into the living room, we're actually going to be going down the hallway toward the bathroom area. And one thing for me anyway, being a low taller, is uh, we have a full height shower. So I don't, I don't actually have to stoop or duck to get in. And one, I love this door. This is a center hinge door. So we can open this door and it actually doesn't take up the entire hallway when you open the door. So it's a center hinge door. So as we come into the bathroom, it of course is a single sink configuration. We have a medicine cabinet above the uh, sink, a uh, GFI outlet of course, and they've actually installed one of those little mirrors that you can turn and see more of me than anybody would want to see. And then the toilet on the back wall and then the little linen closet above uh, the toilet. Uh, so like I was saying in the shower, I'm 6'4", 250 plus pounds, and I can stand in the shower and I have lots of room. This headroom means a lot to someone like me. I don't have to get down and get underneath it. So I have plenty of room to take a shower. I've got plenty of room to be in the shower. So this is one attribute to this unit I really like myself. Uh, and then of course, as we turn right here, going down to the bedroom, we have a king bedroom, master bedroom, king. And then you have a large rear window so if your view is out the back, then you would have wake up maybe to a lake view or wake up to a very nice mountain view or however you are set up on that. Uh, then you have a padded headboard. Then you have uh, shelf nightstands under each window. And then of course, night blinds on the window. Linen closet over here to the right. Now this is where we would prep a washer and dryer. So we would do a washer on the bottom, dryer on the top. This particular unit actually has a combo washer and dryer in it. So it has a one piece in it and it's in the bottom section of this and that leaves the top section open uh, for storage. Or if you didn't want a combo unit, we could actually put a two piece stack unit in there with it. <clears throat> and then at the foot of the bed, this would be a, this is a slide out also. We have a 32 inch TV and then we have a wardrobe closet. So we don't actually have a walk-in closet in this particular model, we have a wardrobe closet. So you have hanging on the left and right. And then you have center storage. Uh, and then you have nine drawers below. So you wind up with a lot of storage in this unit. And of course the bed raises and you have storage under the bed, uh, four overhead cabinets above the bed. So uh, 41 foot, five slides, a lot of storage in this unit, two ACs, 15,013.5, front kitchen, 2017 Keystone, Montana, 3820 FKL. Uh, I just wanted to show the unit to you. It's a beautiful unit. It's been taken really good care of. Again, we have this unit for sale at 90, or at, I'm sorry, I would take that, at $47,900. Uh, so if you have any questions about this unit, then uh, feel free to give me a call. My name is Ken. 865-521-9112 or visit us on the website www.rvsforless.net and we have probably 70 pictures or more of this unit. The video will be posted there. And again, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me. May God richly bless you and your family. Thank you.